Hey everyone, Hassan here, and I got another Power Rangers Megaforce review for you today. This is a very special review for you, because this is one of the San Diego Comic-Con 2013 exclusives for Power Rangers. They had a bunch of exclusives. Uh, from Bandai, there was a Green Ranger figure that came with a, a special tribal coin. There was the Green and White Ranger Legacy Morpher. Um, and there was this, Limited Edition Deluxe Gosei Morpher in gold. So those are the three things. Um, the figure I may or may not get. Uh, the Morpher was kind of the, one of the big things that I wanted, but it's just way too expensive. That was 100 bucks at the convention, so eBay prices are two or three times as much. This thing here was 50 bucks, I believe, at Comic-Con. Um, and so eBay prices have kind of, you know, they're, they're higher than that, of course, but they're, they're at least manageable, unlike some of the other stuff. Um, but this is the Limited Edition Deluxe Gose Morpher, an exclusive 24K gold-plated Morpher. Um, it's not really, you know, gold, of course, um, but it still looks very nice and shiny. So here's the packaging here. just want to admire that because it just looks so awesome. Pretty sweet. So I've already opened it up, so it's just kind of sitting there, really. Um, but uh, real quick, I do also want to show what it comes with. Um, and one thing that it comes with is, well, first of all, it comes with the instructions, which are the exact same as the regular Gosei Morpher instructions. So basically, this thing is the exact same thing as the regular Gose Morpher. Just the look of it is different. It's gold, um, and the cards that it comes with are different. Um, it also comes with a little holster, which I will show in just a second. Um, and it comes with ten promo cards, ten foil cards. Um, but anyways, let's take this Morpher out of there. So this was just kind of sitting there in the packaging. Now it just kind of fell over. Uh, here's the Morpher, and real quick I'll show you where the holster goes. It goes on the back right there. Um, like so. So you can kind of, you know, hang it on your belt like that. Um, alright, so before we take a look at the, uh, the Morpher, let's take a look at the packaging here. Um, so this comes in the same style packaging as the regular, um, Gosei Morpher. So he's got the hand there, and the Gosei Morpher's kind of sitting in there. Um, but I, you know, took that out, of course, so, um, that's why it's like that. Um, the packaging itself is very nice. It's kind of a, a bit of a, got kind of a shine to it. Um, the packaging also, so that definitely makes it stand out a bit more. Um, so nice little artwork of the, the red Megaforce Ranger there. He's holding a Gosei Great Megazord card. Is this actually, like, readable? Oh, wow, it's actually in detail and everything. I don't remember if the original packaging was like that, too. Um, anyways, it's the little details, right? Um, so, this thing is falling over now. Basically here... So this packaging, again, it comes with 10 cards. It comes with a different set of 10 cards that the regular Morpher came with. Different cards. And what's special about these ones is they are all foil cards. So I'll take a look at those in just a second. The cards were sitting in here. So this thing here at the bottom opened up, and it had the cards, it had the holster, and the instructions. They were all there. Um, this, sh this shows the, um, the fact that it has over 180 phrases, like Victory Charge, Go Go Megaforce, and Summon Megazord. Um, so, I've done a review of the Gosei Morpher already, so I'm not going to go into detail on all the different types of phrases and stuff that I can make. Um, but it did have a little, um, try me thing as well. So, the, uh, oops. It comes with a, a little try me card, um, which is basically like the same kind of thing that the regular one came with. Um, doesn't actually do anything. Although this one is kind of shiny, so they even made the try me card. Very shiny, so that's kind of neat. Um, anyways, let's move that out of the way. <laughs> Whoops, it's on try me mode, so it's talking. Um, so yeah, 24K gold plate Morpher. Um, here's the bottom there and the, the UPC there as well. Um, the side shows the card scanner app, and it says how you can download the free app. So there's that. Um, then on this side here, it shows the, the same sounds that it makes on the, the Gosei Morpher again. Um, the back side shows a couple of different interesting things here. Um, similar to the, the Gosei Morpher um, in terms of what it shows on the back, uh, but this whole back has kind of got a nice little metallic um, tinge to it, I guess. It's nice and shiny. Um, but it shows uh, the ten cards that it comes with, so we'll go over those. Um, again, you have the different phrases that it makes. Um, app, and you can scan them with a card scanner, clip, 
thing, and you have a card game mat, and that's about it. So anyways, that's enough of the box. Let's get to the actual good stuff, right? Ta-da! The Gold Gosei Morpher. This is the Gold Gosei Morpher, San Diego Comic-Con 2013 exclusive, and it looks very nice, very shiny. It's so reflective, you can even see me in the reflection. There's my iPad, and I'm wearing my Red Ranger hoodie, so you can see a bunch of red. And it's sitting on a little box there, so behind the scenes. Uh, anyways, yeah, it's very nice, uh, very shiny. Um, so basically, you have this whole back part, which is all black, um, and then you have the front part, which is all gold, nice and shiny gold. I have the regular Gosei Morpher here for comparison, so if you want to, to compare there. Uh, it's the exact same thing in terms of the, the mold and all of that, um, just obviously the difference being the, the paint job. So the back is the same. Um, everything's the exact same there. On the sides, you know, you can see the difference there being just the paint. And then the front, obviously the regular one has all sorts of different colors to make it more, you know, show accurate, I guess, versus this one is just all shiny gold. Um, so let's kind of take an up-close little look at that. And you can kind of see it does have an LED. It also lights up red, just like the regular one. Um, there are the speakers there as well. Um, the speakers they pretty much has the exact same sound quality as the regular Morpher. Um, I feel like it might be slight, maybe ever so slightly different. Maybe it sounds, I, I want to say it sounds a teeny bit muffled, but maybe that's just me, like, hearing things. I don't know. Um, this one does pick up on fingerprints already, as you can see. There's my fingerprint. Um, so it does pick up on those because it's got that, that shiny little reflective paint. So that's kind of the downside there. Um, but... It still looks really nice. Um, very cool. Um, and then you can open it up, and it, it's black. I believe this other one is also, yeah, also black there. Um, th well, this one had red there. This one is black here as well. So it's really only gold and black. <laughs> so now it's, it's lighting up. So you can see the red LED there. Um, so basically this has the same modes as the regular one, so there's three different modes there. It's on try me mode, so basically every time you open and close it, whether there's a card in there or not, it says... Go, go, Megaforce. Go, go, Megaforce. So there's that. Um, and then it also has a TCG mode, which, uh, basically I'm just going to stick in a card in here. It'll play random power level of the card. And sometimes it'll add a special effect. Uh, in terms of the card game, I did a tutorial on it, but it has to do with the numbers on the side of the cards there, uh, in terms of what that means. And then, if you put it in the middle, so there's no off switch, uh, just like the regular Morpher. Um, you just don't use it, it doesn't play any sounds or anything. Uh, in the middle is the normal mode where it'll actually read the cards. Um, so now let's take a look at the cards that it comes with, because these are also really cool. So it comes with ten cards here. So we have, um, let's go one by one here. So we have card number 84, promo card 84, and these are all foil cards. So they're basically just like the super rare cards from the card game, uh, where it's just got like the silver hollow foil basically. Um, so they're pretty cool though. Um, and I was trying to go through the list of cards, um, I was looking at a Ranger Crew's website, so thank you to Ranger Crew for compiling that list, because that was very helpful. Um, and I was trying to figure out what is new and what's not. Um, most of these cards are new. Now, that doesn't mean they are exclusive to this Morpher, because it's possible these cards will release in the future with something else. But as of now, they are only with this Morpher, most of them. Um, so, in fact, as of now... Um, I think they are the only way that you can get these cards, all of them. Uh, but some of them we know what they're coming with. Anyway, so this one right now, we don't know if it's coming with anything else, but it's promo card 84, Red Mega Force Ranger. Um, then we have promo card 85, we have the Black Mega Force Ranger. Promo card 88 of the Blue Mega Force Ranger. So all of those we don't know what they're coming with. The next three cards, I think, um, we do know what they're coming with. So here's the blue Ultra Mega Force Ranger. So it's a blue ranger in ultra mode. 
card number 57. So this is going to come with the 4-inch figure for this Ranger, for the Blue Ranger in Ultra Mode. Uh, not the 4-inch metallic figure uh, for Ultra Mode, because I do have I do have that, Ta -da, which I'll be doing in a separate review in the future. Those actually come with other foil carts. Um, but the regular version of the 4-inch Ultra Mode Blue Ranger will come with the regular version of this card. The foil version of the card is exclusive to this Morpher. Um, so if you want it nice and shiny, you got to get the Morpher. Um, and I think, you know, these cards in particular look really cool because of the background design that they have. You can kind of see, like, the wings in the background and stuff. I think that looks really cool with the foil. So I, I really like these cards. Um, here's the Black Ranger one, card 55. So again, this will come with a 4-inch figure for the regular version of the Ultra Mode Black Ranger. So pretty sweet design there. And then here's the Red Ranger car, the Red Ultra Mega Force Ranger. He's also got a nice little design in the background. Promo card number 53. And then the rest are, other, are also new promo cards so far. Again, we don't know if they're going to come with anything, but so far they have not been released with any other items. Pink Mega Force Ranger, promo card 26. And we have promo card number 9, the Yellow Mega Force Ranger. Um, there's a little design in the background there, so that's kind of cool. Uh, there's this card here, promo card number one, Go Say Great Megazord. So this is promo card number one, um, and it looks pretty cool. Um, overall, pretty sweet. Um, it looks like that. That's actually part of the design. It looks like it might be. Um, it's a little bit of an odd design. Um, that little line there. Uh, now I looked at this card and I was like, this looks really similar. Has this been released yet? Um, and then I found this card, which has been out uh, in, I think, in the starter deck, maybe, for Series 1, Rise of Heroes. So those are actually slightly different. Like, you can look at the helmet here. He's tilted down. So these are different cards, uh, different design completely, uh, even though they look similar. Um, so, again, this is also a brand new card, promo card number 1. And then last but not least, we have promo card number 92, Robo Knight. So Robo Knight has a card. Um, so pretty sweet. Overall, I will have to say, um, I definitely think these cards are uh, really cool. Um, and I think, oh yeah, I have these three. Yeah, so, um, did I go over this guy? I think I did. Blue Mega Force Ranger, card 88. Um, overall, these cards are really cool. So, it's unlike, the Gosei Morpher had a couple of other cards. Like, it had the Red Ranger's Morpher card. It had the one for the Dragon Sword. It had um, the, the Dragon Mechazord, I think. And it had five different rangers from different seasons like spd and jungle fury and ninja storm um so this doesn't have that this just has a bunch of the mega force rangers and kind of their ultra modes and stuff as well um so let's take a look at the sounds that they make in the uh the gosei morpher and then we'll take a look at the card scanner app clips as well um so first off we'll take a look at the uh i think all of these are going to play different sounds or mo for the most part um so let's take a look at the red ranger here so that's what's awesome about the Gosei Morpher. It plays so many different sounds. Um, really cool. Mega Force Red. So again, this is going to play the exact same thing, you know, in the regular Morpher too. So if you don't believe me, I'll show you. And actually, you know what I'm going to do? Um, actually, you know what? Here, how about this? <laughs> Let me play. I'm going to grab another card that I have here and just stick this in. This is from a future review sneak peek. All right, ready? You're going to hear two of them at the same time. Ready, set, go. <laughs> that was kind of cool. I like doing that because it's got like a slight echo to it, and it just it sounds neat having two of the morphers at the same time. So if you have the regular one and you have this one, you can you can have some fun with that. Um, all right. Anyways, then we have the Black Ranger here. So let's do that. Okay. How about the Blue Ranger? Okay, uh, let's take a look at the Yellow Ranger card next. Yellow. 
And the Pink Ranger card next. Alright, how about some Robo Knights? Would have been cool if they like snuck in some extra special phrases and stuff in this morpher, but um, I guess they did the exact same thing. Here's the Go Say Great Megazord. Okay, and then these three cards, um, I think, are these? These are probably the cards I haven't seen this far in Ghost Sager. I think these are the cards they used to morph into the Ultra modes. Um, or at least they're the ones that come with the 4-inch figures for the Ultra Mode, so um, I would have to guess that. But they all play the same sound, because they have the same barcode there. Um, so they all play this sound. So it says Ultra Mode Morph. So there you have it. Those three cards play that sound there, Ultra Mode Morph. So you can morph into Ultra Mode. All right. So those are the 10 cards that come with the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive gold Gose Morpher there. Um, then let's take a look at the, the clips, actually, that they play in the Card Scanner app. Um, so now this app was giving me some trouble earlier. Let's hope that it, it's working now. Um, all right, let's see. Here we go. First up, we have the red Megaforce Ranger. Okay. All right, next up we have the Black Ranger's card. Hmm, so that actually had a clip from the show. That's pretty cool. All right, time for the Blue Ranger. By the way, Universe of Hope, as you can see here, I got some reviews of that stuff coming up soon. All right, Yellow Mega Force Ranger time. Let's see if we got a clip of, of Gia. Not a clip, but she definitely got to act pretty tough there. All right, Pink Ranger time. There we go. Okay. All right, how about Robo Knight? Let's see what he plays on the card scanner app. It's been a while since I've seen this show. Was that from a future episode? It might be, actually. That's interesting. All right. Um, go say great, Megazord. Okay. 
Okay. Now we have the different, uh, whoops, the different ultra mode um, figures there. Or not figures, ultra mode um, cards. So let's see what this plays. Pretty cool. Pretty cool that they have, you know, their own little clips in there. Alright. Blue Ultra Mega Force Ranger. Okay. And last but not least. We have the black Ultra Mega Force Ranger. All right, pretty cool. So that's that. Those are the ten cards that it comes with. Um, pretty sweet. So that is the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive limited edition deluxe Gosei Morpher in gold. Um, in terms of is this thing worth it or not, um, I really like the Gosei Morpher. And so because of that, I really like this. Um, so I like shiny stuff, if you don't know already. Um, so I definitely like this. And, uh, you know, I try and collect the cards, so it's cool to have a bunch of those other cards as well, especially foil cards. Those are pretty cool. Um, in terms of functionality, it, oops, and now I'm dropping this thing. Well, that's not good. Uh, <laughs> anyways, so in terms of functionality, this is the exact same thing. So if you just want something in terms of functionality, you don't care about the look, then get the regular one because this is going to be much cheaper, obviously, than an, a Comic-Con exclusive. Uh, and it's actually got show accurate, you know, paint. I still really like the regular one just because of the paint job and everything. I think that looks really cool. Uh, and for the most part, I'll probably be using this for the regular day-to-day -day use. Um, but this is a nice collectible. I think for kids, you know, I wouldn't probably get this for kids. Why not just get the regular one? They're not going to be able to appreciate the gold for the, the amount more that you're going to pay for it. But for collectors, I think this is a pretty sweet um, toy here. I think it, it's pretty cool. Nice little display piece as well. Um, looks really nice. And if you have a display with like a bunch of other, you know, like here's the, the Ultra Mode Mega Force figures. You have a bunch of shiny stuff on display. It looks really cool. Um, so that's pretty much it for this review. If you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. But there's a little comparison. Here's the Gold Gose Morpher. It's very shiny and awesome. That is pretty much my little summary of the, uh, the Morpher there. So thank you all for watching, and uh, have a great day. See you guys later.